Now, Celebrity Sports Apprentice. With tonight's apprentice, Air Force Falcons football coach, Troy Calhoun. All right, this has been a lot of fun. It is now night two of the Celebrity Sports Apprentice on News First Five. Popular area sports figures anchoring the sports cast each night this week at five and six. Last night we kicked it off with figure skating champ Rachel Flat, and she's a tough act to follow. But joining us right now is the guy to do it, Air Force football coach Troy Calhoun. Troy, welcome. Well, thank you, Lee. What an opportunity. I'm looking forward to this. Now, Troy, just a couple of weeks ago, the Air Force football team was at the White House to receive officially the Commander in Chief's trophy from President Barack Obama. There you are with the General and uh, Dr. Mew. That had to be quite a moment. Yeah, very special. I mean, just a wonderful uh, whole day. I mean, they, they actually, paradays there for our players and uh, certainly for all of uh, the administration there at the Air Force Academy, too. Oh, that was just wonderful. The uh, presentation to uh, President Obama, Reggie Rimmer, was so great with the jersey on camera. You, you had to be proud of those guys. Those are special guys. Now, earlier today, I spoke with Fisher DeBerry, and of course, Fisher was elected to the College Football Hall of Fame yesterday, and you're going to talk about that in your sports cast at 6, but right now, he had a special message for you regarding your appearance tonight on the Sports Apprentice. Well, let's see it, Lee. All what right. would that be? All right. Well, as much as that guy watched ESPN whenever he was coaching with me, he'll be dynamite, I guarantee you. <laughs> he, he was my ESPN coach. He'd come in every morning. I'd say, Troy, what did they say on, TV, on ESPN last night? <laughs> so he's going to be well-versed. You better watch out. He might be moonlighting and, <laughs> take, and have a chance to get your job. <laughs> well, nobody does it better than you do, but, uh, but I'll tell you, he, he'll be good. Now, you're not going to take my job, are you? Oh, not at all. Okay. You aren't going to take mine, are you? Oh, no, I know. I am not a coach. <laughs> that I am not. You've been an assistant uh, with Mike Shanahan at the Broncos, Gary Kubiak at the Houston Texans. You were offensive coordinator. And now at the Air Force Academy, four straight years, four straight bowl games, two straight bowl wins. Good way to close out the season. You know, maybe. absolutely. And uh, certainly it doesn't hurt when you get a chance to make a, a trip to Washington, D.C. either. <laughs> no, that Commander in Chief's trophy is good. Ending the season with a bowl win is good. Uh, these are special kids, aren't they? You know, absolutely. You know, and next Wednesday, Lee, uh, we have 19 of our seniors that graduate from the Air Force Academy. And uh, you, know, you just think, there's Jared, too, right there with the ball. I mean, what, what great, great officers are going to be. And a guy like Jared, too, Kevin Fogler, Ben Cochran, the guys that are also going to be able to attend pilot training. That's really what it's all. About. You we, know, absolutely. Ultimately, these guys uh, made a commitment to serve our country, and they're going to do it extraordinarily well, too. We talk about wins and losses a lot, but that's important. But uh, before we leave, can we talk a little bit about wins and losses? How, how's, oh, next sure. year, how's next year look? Could be a fun year. You know, Lee, we have plenty of work between yeah. now and uh, August 5th to get to a point where you have a chance to make the 2011 Falcons, but it uh, should be an exciting football team. Looking forward to it, Troy, and looking forward to the sportscast at 6. We'll talk to you then. Yes, sir. All right, Rob, Lisa. Now, Celebrity Sports Apprentice. With tonight's apprentice, Air Force Falcons football coach, Troy Calhoun. Yes, indeed. It is day two of the Celebrity Sports Apprentice. Figure skating champ Rachel Flatt set the bar high last night. A tough act to follow, but we have just the guy, Air Force football coach Troy Calhoun. Troy, we know you're a big sports fan. Uh, Fisher DeBerry told us at 5 you love to watch ESPN. So uh, are you ready to be behind the camera doing well, sports Well, absolutely, and a chance to be with Rob and Lisa, too. Lee. All right. Well, here's Troy <laughs> Calhoun, the celebrity sports apprentice. Well, thanks, Lee. Uh, yesterday's induction of Coach Fisher DeBerry into College Football's Hall of Fame was indeed quite an honor. I was fortunate to play for Fisher and also serve as an assistant on his staff. For a service academy coach to meet the criteria of winning over 60% of their contests while competing in a major conference is nothing short of remarkable. We spoke with Fisher at his home in South Carolina a short time ago and asked him how it felt to be a Hall of Famer. You know, I just think it's just a great honor for the Academy because, uh, you know, uh, something like this doesn't happen if you don't have good players. And good players make good coaches, as you know. And certainly we were blessed to have some good players and we're certainly uh, blessed to have some wonderful coaches and some great men. and. You know, and I know you don't do anything by yourself, and uh, we just happened to be driving the bus at that time. And most of all, what a Hall of Fame leader of men. Here's a guy who influenced more than a thousand cadets during his time at the Air Force Academy. Coach Fisher DeBerry is the third inductee from the Air Force Academy. He joins Brock Strom and Chad Hennings in the College Football Hall of Fame. 
And Lee, don't you think real soon that Scott Thomas and D. Dallas should join that Hall of Fame group too? No brainer, absolutely. Following a pair of very important comeback wins over the San Francisco Giants the past two days to reclaim first place in the National League West, the Colorado Rockies this evening begin a five game road trip. And tonight, the Rocks are at the Philadelphia Philly. Philadelphia 1, the Rockies 0 in the bottom of the fifth. Thanks for watching News First 5 at 6. Remember that NewsFirst5.com is always on. We'll keep you updated on this storm there and on the bottom of your screen. Mike and Mike continue to track First Alert Doppler. Wow. Oh, I tell you oh, you my that. goodness. Nice yeah. job. What Great a job, job, Coach Troy Calhoun. Well, I tell you what, just don't be thinking you can coach too much. We still like <laughs> coaching a little football on the side, too. All right. I won't Thanks touch that. Thanks for joining us. Uh -oh. Great job. That Thank was you. Great. Appreciate it. We'll see you right back here tonight at 10. And as Coach said, Mike and Mike continue to track that severe weather all night long.